Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine. And anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Whoa, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Your computer is shining brightly Some people say you have a mind of your own And I think that's very likely Likely Bertha, lovely Bertha Sometimes I think you're a dream When we work out what you have to do You can always turn the goods out Always turn the goods out We can depend upon you Today at Spotty's Wood and Company, Bertha is making jumping kangaroos. Roy puts a battery inside each one before passing it to Tom. Nell is packing them into their kangaroo boxes. Flo is stacking them, ready for Panjid to take them to the dispatch department. Thank you, Flo. Should you be testing them, Roy? I tested one earlier. They're really good. I had to stop it jumping too high. How did he switch on? You lift up the tail. What, like this? Whoops! Catch it, Roy! Catch it, Tom! Look out, Nell! Oh! What was that? Here it comes! Cut it! Missed it! Where's it gone now? Uh, down there! Watch out, Flo! Oh! My goodness! What are those boxes doing, Miss McClackety? They seem to be jumping up and down, sir. What was that? What is all that noise, Mr Sprott? Eh, uh, noise? What noise? Uh, what's going on? Uh-huh, I've got it. Someone must be testing my kangaroos. They're working quite well, don't you think? What should we do, Ted? We'll have to wait until the batteries run down. Tease up. What do you make of this, Mr Sprott? Rather splendid, don't you think, sir? Those leaping kangaroos are working awfully well, aren't they? But how do you stop them, Mr Sprott? You just turn them off, sir. But how do you catch them to turn them off? Oh, uh, I don't really know. So, it's back to the drawing board, eh, Mr Sprott? Huh? Great so, sir. I think they're running down, Ted. At about time, too.
Well, I never. What a mess. We'll have to open all these boxes and replace the batteries. Shall I put a new one in this fella, Ted? Yes, but be careful. We don't want to set it off again. I believe these belong to you. I phoned them over to the other side of the factory. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. Yes, well, be more careful in the future. Ah, good. <laughs> That's me away home. Come on, Roy. Time to go home. <laughs> you too, Nell and Flo. Leave all that till the morning. Night, Ted. Goodbye, Tom. See you in the morning. It is night in the factory. Everything is still and quiet. Tom can't wait for the new day to start, and he can begin work again. Tom has heard something unusual. Someone is trying to force open the big doors. Is this the place? Of course it's the place. Shh. Well, where's the safe, then? It's up in the office. What office? Up there, see? Come on. We mustn't make a mess. Leave everything tidy, OK? Yeah. Leave everything tidy. Uh, uh, why? So no one will know we've been here. Oh. Uh, you go first, Doris. Why? You said you knew where the safe was. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, Bill, what was that? What was what? Oh, I thought I heard someone down there. It's your imagination. There ain't nobody down there. But I heard something, I tell you. It's probably mice. Come on. See, no, no, that's no good. Uh, we'll be here all night. Oh, I'd better use this. Listen, what's that noise? It's me trying to open a safe. No, no, not that. That, listen, it sounds like someone sweeping. Go and have a look then. I don't like this. I don't like it one little bit. <clears throat> Is there anyone down there? <coughs> Bill? Bill? 200. 300. Uh, 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 400. Bill! What? There is somebody down there. I heard them. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, I'm nearly finished. OK, let's go.
<laughs> what, what was that? Shush. Listen. I'm off. Wait for me. <laughs> the burglar has slipped on the oil and started Bertha. Come on, Bill. Let's get out of here. The bag. I've dropped the bag. When Mr. Willmake, the manager, arrived at work the next morning, he found the safe open and the money gone. Oh, dear. All the money for the wages has gone. This is awful. Miss McClackety, you had better telephone for the police. Uh, very well, sir. Mr. Duncan, you had better tell everybody the bad news. There's no money to pay the wages this week. I said I will do that. I can't understand it, Roy. I'm sure I switched Bertha off before I went home. It's funny, isn't it? And where's Tom? Here he comes. Oh, thank you, Tom. I wonder what went on here last night. I can tell you that, Ted. Someone broke into the factory last night and stole all the money from the safe. What? All the money? Yes, the lot. So Mr. Wilmick has asked me to tell you that he's very sorry, but there'll be no money to pay the wages this week. But Bertha knows what really happened. Hey, what's this? It's full of money. Hi, so it is. It must be the money stolen from the safe. The money from the safe? You found the money? That's wonderful. It seems to be all there. Well done, everybody. We didn't do anything, Mr. Wilwake. It's a mystery. Bertha did it all. And Tom. Goodness me, well, well, thank you, Bertha. And thank you, Tom. Now we can all be paid this week. Good, good, huh? well. Thank you, Bertha. You're uh, not such a bad machine after all. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha. Sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do You can always turn the goods out Always turn the goods out We can depend upon you <laughs>